Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? We're continuing on our resort tour series here at the Barcelo Maya Grand Resort. And now we're at the Barcelo Maya Tropical. So here's the sign out front. And uh, we're gonna go check out all the amenities here, the lobby, the beach, the pools, where all the restaurants are located. So without further ado, let's head inside. So walking up the driveway here, just to the right side, there's some parking. If you actually rented a car, you can park just there. And um, this will be where your airport transportation kind of comes into this roundabout here and uh, drops you off for your stay. There also is a, a sister, or I would call it like a twin sister resort, the um, Barcelo Maya Colonial, just located beyond the parking lot. We did a full tour of that resort as well. So this resort here that we're about to tour, the uh, Barcelo Maya Tropical, is great for families. It's a bit of a budget-friendly hotel too, so that always helps the wallet. It's very, very kind of centrally located throughout the re resort, like the entire complex itself. Actually, I see a map over here, so I'm gonna go show you that. So we have its twin sister resort, the Colonial, which you can visit. And um, also, we have the uh, other two resorts, the Caribe, and the beach that you can visit as well and enjoy their amenities. Here's the tropical right here, all of this right there towards the beach, and this is a colonial right here too. So you can stay at one and play at four. So that's always a plus, and there's always the transportation that takes you around to all the different resort lobbies. The only two resorts you won't be able to access will be the uh, Maya Riviera, which is the kind of new modern luxury resort just on the far right side of the complex, and the Barcelo Maya Palace, which is located on the far left side of the resort. So turning around here and heading into the main lobby, just want to point a couple things out. There's a uh, bell desk right here, and they'll be happy to help you with any of your luggage as you arrive. Pointing over to the left side of the lobby, we can see the front desk. And um, just further along, we're gonna talk, we're gonna see the uh, lobby bar. We'll go there in just a minute. And over here, we're gonna see some shops and the premium lounge over on this side. So let's head over this way. We're gonna take a look at the uh, main front desk and the seating area. As you can see, this is an open air lobby. So all the air kind of exchanges with the inside here. And it's a little bit warm in here, but there is quite a nice breeze through the hotel lobby as well. Lots of seats throughout the uh, hotel lobby. This is pretty nice. They've got a uh, baggage scale here to weigh your luggage before you head to the airport. Over here, we have the hotel lobby. You can see some different clocks from different cities as well. I think that's a cool touch. You can see LA, Toronto, Cancun, and then a big, big Mayan mural on the back wall of the front desk. There's some really like peaceful kind of piano music playing in the background of the lobby. Really nice to hang out. We can see through here as well that there's some seating. I wanted to point out these fountains in the middle too. I found them like really interesting. So you can see them here. You can actually kind of walk through the middle of the fountains as well. But look at that, that's really like unique. So just going over this way, I love how like this is all open to the outside and it's not just like just gardens, it's also like some, some water features and fountains outside just to kind of make a real nice ambiance. So um, just down this hallway, we're gonna visit in just a second. The tequila is the lobby bar. Uh, but just down this way, there is a couple ATMs here. Over here you can see the activity and entertainment schedule, so I'll see if I can get a good view of that. And I'll let you guys kind of pause and zoom in to see some of the different things that are happening throughout the resort. Also on the left here, it's showing that the show today in the theater, in the Palenque Theater, is a Fantasia show, and they've been rehearsing all day today, and they're doing a bunch of like Disney skits. Further on down here, there's like a dressing room, and then out this way, this is gonna lead to some of the guest rooms. And also they have a really, like, really big, I think a full-size, like, soccer pitch out here. So I'm not sure if you can actually, like, rent that yourself or that might actually just be used for, like, local soccer or some tournaments that might come through here. But I'll give you a little sneak peek of what this looks like. Yeah, as you can see, like, there's, like, a full-on, like, soccer pitch here. And then heading back in, this is the doorway we just came out. As you can see, this leads into, like, the rest of the uh, resort where all the guest rooms are located. So heading back inside, this is Tequila, the lobby bar. We're gonna head down this little hallway here. And uh, if you're looking for washrooms when you first come in the resort, this is the washroom located here. Just to the right, we have fountains again, kind of bordering the walkways leading into the lobby bar of Tequila. 
And if we look over this way, just to our left as we come in the bar, there's some snacks here. So we've got some cookies. Um, and again, this is not too much offered here, but if you were wanting to look at some of our other videos, in comparison, some of the snacks offered in the lobby bar are a little bit more expansive in some of the higher uh, end resorts. So if that's something that's important to you, maybe consider taking a look at some of the other resorts. But for this resort, just some cookies here in the stand and then some popcorn here in this little uh, container as well. If we look over this way, this is tequila the bar. It's very kind of like very uh, Mexican desert like. It's very nice in here. I like this a lot. And here's the bar here. We can see there's some spirits offered, lots of seats all around the bar here. There's even some um, uh, TVs around the bar here where you can get a look at some of the some sports give you a little sneak peek at some of the uh, liquor that's offered here at the resort i'll just zoom in on this and i'll let you pause it and peek around at some of the liquor that's offered we found that like at the barcelo resorts there was always a lot of like um, international brands that we're used to okay so just back in the lobby now um, this is the front desk here and if we pan over this way just behind us where we just came from is the tequila lobby bar just down this way we're gonna to head to the rest of the lobby here. It's not very busy, it's only about 2.20 in the afternoon, so most people are probably at the beach or the pool, but this probably gets a bit more busy in the evening time where people wanna come hang out and relax before heading to dinner or after dinner. So yeah, lots of places to relax, lots of couches and chairs, very you know soft cushions and stuff. So we'll start kind of just wrapping around the lobby coming back this way, but we'll take a look at what's offered down over here. So again, just as a reference, this is the front of the lobby where we walked in from the beginning of the video. And down this uh, small little hallway, we have Vacaciones Barcelo, and this is where you can uh, head inside here and talk to a team member or a staff member and talk about any excursions that you might want to go on while you're staying. There's a, a large store off to the left here with lots of souvenirs. So there's another view of the, the store. Even at the front desk you can see like some oops, some medication and sunscreen and toiletries and things if you've run out or forgot some on your trip. There's also guest services for helping you book any like, you know, things on the resort, some a la carte restaurants. And then over this way, we can see some of our tour operators. Some of them aren't in right now because they do have certain times, but I've seen Delta, Amstar, um, Air Canada, uh, TUI, those kind of places. Check your holiday package to make sure you know who your travel, travel representative is and you can ask any questions at these desks here. So yeah, there's lots of, even if they're not here, there's lots of things on the walls that you can kind of take and take a look at just to see if there's any tours or excursions that might kind of interest you and your family. Okay, so we just came from this hallway right here. Here's the shop we took a quick look at. And uh, just to the left of that is the premium level lounge. So you have the option of uh, selecting your package as premium level when you make your reservations. And uh, this lounge will be exclusive to premium guests. So I'll just take a quick peek in here and show you what's in here. It's a air conditioned room. It's actually quite nice. As you can see, there's like really nice couches. It's almost like a little, like a little living room here with a TV up here. It's all kinds of like books as well if you wanted to grab a book and read it during your stay. And then over here, we have all kinds of like snacks and stuff and like um, some s spots to sit, spots to sit here and eat. There's restrooms back here. And then there's some uh, internet or some computers connected to the internet if you need to get any documents from your email or anything like that back here. So again, I don't want to bother the people here, but there's some like um, alcoholic beverages like spirits here and then there's some snacks, some like donuts and pastries, coffee maker, and then a little fridge with some juice boxes and Corona there. But I really like the vibe in here. It's pretty nice. And this is again a lounge only for premium level guests. So just another thing about premium level, there's all kinds of like amenities you can see on the uh, website if you went to the Barcella website. Um, if you have any questions about it, please feel free to leave them down in the comments down below. We had the premium level while we were here, so we can help kind of answer any questions we that you may have about premium level. Just beside that is La Cantina, and La Cantina is a, uh, it looks like it, they sell um, spirits, and I think it might be tequilas, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, it does say on the back of the wall there, it says top 77 premium tequila. And it also sh shows here that they have um, premium cigars as well, just in the back. I can see the case just right there, but I can't go in because it's only open at four o'clock. So we're gonna head down into the rest of the resort. This is just like such a nice vibe right now. And it's so peaceful hearing this water beside me. And it's gonna bring us to our first um, food options here. 
It's uh, Santa Fe and Capri. So just to the right here is Santa Fe Steakhouse and Capri, which is an Italian option. And if we go in here, this is probably much more lit up at nighttime, but right now it's um, dark just because the restaurants aren't open. But I think if I go in here, yeah, it's open, that's good. I can take a, take a look and show you guys that they have a little waiting area here, a small couch and some chairs, and just over here, a small couch and some chairs to kind of wait just outside of Capri and Santa Fe for your restaurant reservation. So these are a la carte restaurants. These are, these are restaurants that you'd have to book with guest services when you arrive. And then just back here is a lobby or a kind of like a waiting area bar. And um, if I'm not mistaken at nighttime, this will open up with some drinks that you can grab just before dinner or after dinner. And there's restrooms on either side of the, uh, actually I think the restrooms are on this side. Um, of the uh, bar there. So I'll give you guys a sneak peek at the menus offered here at the uh, a la carte restaurants at the Tropical. So we have Santa Fe, we have the wine list as well, and the children's menu. And then also, here's the menus for Capri, the Italian restaurant, the wine and the children's menu. So those are the only two a la cartes here on the uh, Tropical property, or the Tropical Resort here. But um, the Twin Sister Resort, the Colonial next door, you would just follow this path all the way around to basically the mirror side of this and you can go to Kyoto or Marinos Marinostrum, which is a seafood and a Japanese restaurant as well. And you can, if you really want to branch out, you can branch out to the sister resorts, the Caribe and Beach, and there's some special a la carte restaurants at those hotels as well. So we're heading down the pathway here and this is going to lead us to another sort of like fork in the road here. And then just to the right of me here, this is the uh, buffet. So the main buffet that's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And I'll just show you the schedule in a second when we get around there. So uh, you understand kind of how the buffets work here at these two resorts. So coming to the fork in the road, if we look to the left, that's going to take us to the uh, guest rooms. If we look to the straight ahead, that's going to take us to the swimming pools. And if we turn to the right, this is where we're going to go. This is going to take us to the buffets and the theater. Okay, so we're at another sort of uh, fork in the road here. This is going to be left to go to Palenque Theater. I think I'm saying that right. Um, just over here. Here is the Palenque Theater. And again, the show tonight is Fantasia. So again, Basically, if you think about this half right here, over this way, it's mirrored on the other side as well. There's a bar in the back, there's some restrooms as well. Lots of chairs, lots of space here. And then the theater is just right here. And they're again, like I said, they're setting up for the Fantasia show that's happening later tonight. Okay, so coming out of the theater just behind me, if we turn to the left, it'll carry on to the buffets as we were kind of heading to before. Just down this hallway here, we haven't toured that yet on this video but we're not going to go down there that's actually the colonial and it's basically a mirror image uh, towards the lobby and towards the beaches as the resort we're touring right now the tropical over here is the tropical buffet and over here is the colonial buffet so they're both open for breakfast and dinner however they do cycle one will be open one day for lunch and the other one opens the next day for lunch and they kind of do that on um, a rotating basis just to kind of give the workers a bit of a break so right now the tropical side is closed for lunch and tropical guests are allowed to kind of come over to the colonial lunch buffet for lunch so we did full buffet tours for both of these hotels so um, if you wanted to take a look at breakfast and lunch offerings at these hotels in a bit more detail you can find those videos down in the description Okay, so I'm kind of at the junction now where uh, this is going to head to guest rooms. This is to the lobby. Down here is to the buffets. And then down this way now is going to head towards the pools and the beach area. So coming down the walkway here, we have um, over to the left, we have the uh, guest rooms. And they're going to be scattered all throughout, kind of down towards the beach, culminating in the uh, premium level rooms, which actually face right onto the beach. So just to the right side, we have the theater. So there's an entrance into the theater here. And if we head down this way, we're gonna walk down the path and head over to the fountain here. And that's also another entrance into the theater, just off to the right side over here. Okay, so we're at the theater now. This is the back side of the theater. Um, they always show like the different show that's coming here, uh, coming tonight and the time. So it should say in a couple seconds, the Fantasia show happening at nine o'clock tonight. 
But um, yeah, there's a nice fountain right here. As you can see, there's some kids playing in the fountain at the moment. I don't know if it's actually a splash pad, but they're having fun. So coming up over this way, just over here is all of the uh, colonial uh, guest rooms and a colonial pool. However, you will see just over here, there's like a splash pad. We talked a bit more detail about this splash pad in our colonial video. So you can take a look at that video and um, you know zoom through to the chapters to see a bit more detail of that splash pad because you do have access to that splash pad if you're staying at the tropical, which is very convenient. So I will come over here to this map. So here we are um, right about here right now. We're just about to kind of head into the pools. We looked at all the pools and the amenities in our other colonial video. And since we're doing the tropical video, we're gonna focus more on the pools on this side. And again, this is the guest rooms in the tropical and the um, lobby and buffets and things that we toured on the tropical side. So these two are twin resorts, the Colonial and Tropical. And then as I said before, here's the sister resorts. These two are twins, the beach and the Caribe. So if we head over this way, this is gonna be the, this is the tropical side of the pool area. And if I'm looking over this way, these are the premium level rooms that exist here at the tropical. So the premium level rooms are premium because they face towards and have an ocean view. So if we head over this way, we can see from the pool area here that we have some pretty cool like pergolas with some canvassing kind of woven throughout to kind of give you some shade as you can see just right here. Also, you can see these like fabrics here. These are actually hammocks and they're actually scattered throughout almost all of the pergolas. I'm pretty sure all of the pergolas at the pool area. So you can stay at a hammock and get some shade. You can hang out on one of the loungers here, get some shade. And then they have pool chairs that are you know, maybe under palm trees or just in the full sun to get some vitamin D or get some tanning done. So again, this pool in front of me here is the uh, lap pool. Here's a better, better closer shot of some of the loungers. These loungers are very, very comfortable. Um, and then the shade that's offered by these pergolas here, in addition to these hammocks that are hanging here too. So if we kind of walk through the pool area just a little bit, just to get a bit of a sense of what it's like, um, the pools start here and then kind of weave their way through over there. We're gonna take a little walk just to show you kind of the pools and get a sense of kind of the atmosphere here. Um, there's not too many activities going on. Oh, yes there is. There's some activities happening over there. But over here, I can get some pretty good relaxation and not really worry about listening to all the activities. So if we head over this way, just coming over one of the bridges right now, we're gonna look over here. This is going to be a small little shop. I'll just show you that in just a second when we get there, but. So this is, there's three houses here essentially. There's this one here, which is like the beach shop. It's got washrooms and towels. Over here, we've got the bar. So there's a swim up bar, which we'll show closer in just a second. And then finally beyond there is the um, Palmara, which is the um, lunch grill, or just like the food offering that's open till 6.30 here at the pool area. So you don't really have to leave the pool area to get some food. So heading into this first kind of hut that we talked about, there's a beach shop here, probably similar to some of the stuff we saw at the other beach or the other shop in the resort. But this one I can see has got a bit more like pool floaties and like, you know, pool toys and stuff like that for kids. We can look over here. There's another little shop here with some hats and then the pool towels right here too. Over here we can see there's like spots where you can reserve or kind of rent out some basketballs and volleyballs and things like that. There's even some like Jenga and things. So yeah, all kinds of like good stuff to keep you entertained. And then there's some, I think I pointed out, the uh, washrooms. If not, here are the washrooms here from the pool. They even do some like tattoo art here if you wanted to get some tattoos done, like henna tattoos. But I'm just going to go up and just take some video of the pool bar just so you can see it but it might be a little loud. It's got some shade over it, which is actually helpful. And then there's the pool, some people playing. Over here is kind of like the activity sports area. So we've got some ping pong tables here. We've got some shuffleboard. And I didn't see this over on the colonial sides. There's some games over here that you can enjoy if you're a colonial guest too. There's a basketball court over there. There's um, just behind me a uh, chess, kind of like big, big chess piece. And yeah, just behind the sports area is all the guest rooms again, as you can see back there. And if you were to go through this kind of like jungly area, you'd actually be heading towards the Maya Palace, which if you're staying at this resort, you wouldn't be able to access. So they'd probably turn you away. But um, if you wanted to take a look at what that hotel looks like, we've got a tour of it on our YouTube channel as well. 
So here's the uh, bar here that's located at the tropical pool. This is the kind of walk up um, pool deck spot of the bar. So just across from the pool bar and the activity pool here, we have Palmara, and that's the kind of like pool deck buffet. Um, you don't have to leave the pool deck to get some food. There's some buffet food offered in the back here. And then you got seaside dining, which is always a plus. And then just beyond that is going to be the last little bit of our tour. I know you guys were all excited to find out what the beach looks like here, just like we are every time we come to the Caribbean. I love these little like statues they have here at the uh, beaches, all, all looking out over the water. So it's a nice little picture opportunity and they're lit up really nicely at nighttime too. So we're gonna head on to the beach now. Hopefully it's not too windy and you can still hear me. And I'll give you guys a couple tips. So number one, the beach, even walking here, is a little bit rocky. I have some shoes on, but I would recommend definitely flip-flops and definitely I would recommend some water shoes too. So if you look directly out um, in front of the tropical here, it's a little bit rocky. So you'd have to kind of trudge your way through some of this like broken reef. So it's not the greatest area to swim and then just beyond that in the water, I'm sure it's still rocky as well. But um, what I would recommend is if we head down over this way and uh, take a look out over the Maya Colonial beach area, which you have access to staying at the tropical, it's much easier to walk in because it's much more sandy. There isn't any um, sunshade here besides the palm trees, which there is quite a few, but there's no people uh, bothering you on the beach to buy anything. And the seaweed situation at the moment is kind of like medium light, but you will kind of like encounter it while you're swimming about. Anyways, they do a really good job. There's a guy raking some seaweed down there, clearing it up, to try to keep it nice and clean for guests. But yeah, lots of shade, lots of uh, beach chairs, um, lots of opportunity to park on the beach and hang out. The water's very, very warm. Um, it wasn't this wavy the first day we got here, so just, to, you know, things change quite quickly here in the Caribbean. It could be completely calm and the next day it could be very wavy. So there's not really any way to predict the weather. And then lastly, 100% like if you're looking for a good like budget friendly trip for your family with some pretty decent amenities and some good restaurants here They've got the uh, four a la carte restaurants between tropical and colonial This might be a great restaurant or a good uh, resort choice for you But definitely you're gonna get a good experience here with service food beach pool All that kind of stuff to put together a pretty nice vacation for your family So if you found this video helpful and kind of deciding or getting a little walk through through the resort give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where we're going next.